Hello everybody, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this 2024 Ford F-350 Lariat. This is a dual rear wheel uh, setup. It also has the FX4 off-road package, high output 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel engine and 10 speed automatic transmission. Starting off up front with the Lariat, you are gonna get the uh, uh, reflector style LED headlights as well as LED fog lights. Super Duty is gonna be stamped into the hood. Right here we have this really nice oversized honeycomb style grill. Massive Ford logo with your front facing camera right here because this guy does have the 360 degree camera system. Black powder coated tow recovery hooks. Parking sensors integrated into the lower portion of the chrome bumper. Oversized chin splitter right here. A lot of people do not like that unfortunately. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup. Looks like we have a Michelin LTX AT2 and that is a 245-75 R17. Lock and front hub right there. Your Lariat F350 badging is right here. This guy does come with splash guards from the factory which is pretty cool. High output 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel badge is right there. You know it's the high output because that is indicated by the red numbering. If you were to have the standard output it would be carbonized gray. This guy does have the power deployable running boards. Gloss black mirror cap. Mirror mounted camera right there for the 360 degree camera system. Park uh, blind spot monitoring is included. Color matched door handles with passive entry so you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver side or passenger side door. Bed step making getting up into the furthest forward most portion of the bed a little easier. This is your dual rear wheel uh, fender flare, if you will. It's got a amber marker on the front and a red marker on the rear to indicate that this vehicle is wider than most. FX4 badging, dual tipped exhaust out the passenger side, incandescent and LED mix tail lamps, blind spot monitors located right in here. This guy has the onboard scales, I'm pretty sure, so this indicator will actually light up uh, to tell you when you are over payload. New bumper for 2023-2024 with the bumper step and the grab handle right here. Backup camera, LED puddle light, Super Duty is stamped into the tailgate. Your seven pin and four pin trailer connector is right there. Parking sensors are integrated into the upper and middle portion of the bumper on this guy. Coming around to the driver's side, we have your diesel and def fill port right there. Up top on the third brake light or cargo light, we also have a cargo camera. Keyless entry is always a favorite. And honestly, for a Lariat, this is a very well optioned truck. It also has the LED clearance lamps up top. Let's take a closer look at the interior. All right, starting over on the driver's side door, we have your window controls right here. Your front two are automatic up and down. In front of that, we have your power adjustable mirror controls, as well as your uh, telescoping mirror button. Three seat memory with unlock and lock button. Forward facing LED uh, lights for the driver side rear view mirror, or the side mirror, and then the passenger side side mirror. Push this button twice to release the tailgate. Cargo lamp illumination button. Rotary dial selector for the exterior lights of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Electronic parking brake, and then your power adjustable foot pedals. Coming up top to the dash, it is a mix of carbonized gray hard plastic and this nice soft rubbery uh, texture. This guy does have a heads up display, if you can see real closely. Premium B&O audio group with a nice storage tray right here. Coming down to the instrument cluster, it is fully digital. I love that the automotive industry is moving in this direction. Tons of different features and parameters you can monitor just on this fully digital instrument cluster. Very, very cool. Coming back to the steering wheel, we have a nice leather wrap steering wheel. Not as premium feeling as like a uh, Platinum or a Limited. Uh, I believe the King Ranch one is also a little bit more textured. I wouldn't really include the King Ranch one in the Platinum or Limited uh, 
steering wheels, but it's still nice and soft, mild bolsters at 10 and two. Left side of the steering wheel has all your cruise control and your gap adjustment and your lane keep assist buttons, as well as some steering wheel mounted audio controls. Over on the right side, we have all the controls for the center instrument cluster, and then some more steering wheel mounted audio controls. Push button start's gonna be right here. Pro trailer backup assist. Integrated trailer brake controller with plus minus. Push button transfer case, two high, four high, four low. Your different drive mode dial. When you change the different drive modes, you'll actually get a different animation on the instrument cluster, which looks really cool. And my personal favorite is the uh, tow haul mode, just because of the sheer amount of information that is displayed. If you do opt for the trailer uh, TPMS, you can actually get your TPMS readouts right here. You then have your RPMs or your tachometer in a digital kind of sporty style, like uh, on the Mustang, right up in the upper left-hand corner other temperature gauges as well as your fuel gauge and then your speedometer in the lower right hand corner. Above the massive touchscreen display, we have your exhaust brake button. There is two exhaust brakes. There is the full, which I believe is designed to slow you down to a certain speed. And then there is auto, which is designed to keep you at a certain speed. Right here to the right of that, we have your 360 degree camera button, parking sensors off, hazard lights off, traction control off, and then again, because this is an FX4, your hill descent control is gonna be right here. Massive uh, horizontal touchscreen display, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, 4G LTE. It's got the card system right now, so we have audio right here, navigation here. To simply switch them, you just push on the navigation, and then it flips them. Uh, new for 2023 and on, I believe, is the ability to go full screen Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is awesome. I really am starting to like the layout of the uh, horizontal touchscreen instead of the vertical touchscreen I have over in the RAM. Uh, tons of cool features in here. Zone lighting, you can do all that in this vehicle. I like it a lot. You have your connectivity right there, vehicle hotspot, all that stuff. Really, really cool. Obviously it has navigation. Underneath that you have the physical buttons for the radio. And then under that you have your dual zone climate control with heated and ventilated seats. Just like on the Platinum, it has this kind of wood grain looking uh, trim. Push on this silver bar, giving us access to a wireless charging mat, as well as a USB and USB type C outlet. Right here we have a storage tray for plus size smartphones or an oversized tablet. Something cool about cord management that they did was they actually put holes in the bottom of this so you can have your charger cord just go right underneath it. And that is designed to keep your phone in place. Two cup holders right here. Nice storage tray right here. Something that I wish that the F-150 would copy on the Super Duty. If you need more cup holders, you just simply slide this over and you just doubled your cup holders to four. Also, I love the shifter located right here on the steering column. It's got manual plus minus. In a truck, this is where the steering, <laughs> this is where the shifter should be. I don't like the push button stuff. I don't like the rotary dial shifters. Um, I understand it saves a little bit of space, but just there's something about a truck and having the steering column shifter that just feels right to me. Coming back here, we have the nice uh, armrest with a removable storage compartment right here. I believe this is an LED light, and then there is two USB Type-C outlets and then a cutout for cord management right here. Very comfortable leather seats in this Lariat. The passenger has a 12 volt outlet right here as well as a 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet right there. Two glove boxes. First one's accessed by pushing this button right here. Second one is gonna be right down here. Coming up top to the vanity, it's gonna be LED lit for your passenger as well as your driver. And the driver has a three door universal garage remote. I really do like the light colors of the headliners. Um, it just seems like the vehicle is a little bit bigger. And then obviously on camera, it doesn't seem like it's washed out as much. Six auxiliary upfitter switches are gonna be right here. I love that Ford actually uses switches and I love the location of them. They are on indicated by an amber light, which means they are either hot or live. Behind that, you have glasses storage. Button right here controls the power sliding rear window. And then all of your master controls for the LED dome map lights and massive twin pane sunroof are gonna be right there. And then finally that finishes off with the auto dimming rear view mirror. So 
Uh, like I said in, in a bunch of my other Super Duty videos, all the interiors are essentially the exact same um, with the exception of the different uh, uh, trim. So you can have more leather on some, you can have different kind of textures on some. I know I've seen a lot of people online remove the plastic one right here on the uh, Lariats with the uh, higher, higher quality uh, leather wrapped one from the Platinums. Um, but overall, everything is laid out in a perfect, easy, accessible way for the driver. And I think Ford has absolutely knocked it out of the park. So with that being said, let's take a look at the back seats and see how much legroom we have. Before getting in, I do want to point out how easy it is to get in with the drop down running boards and the grab handle on the B pillar. Also, these seats do fold up uh, completely flat, as you can see, giving us access to not only a load flat floor, but an under seat storage system. To unlock it, you just simply pull on the drawstring and then pull the seat down. Tons and tons of space back here. I'm 5'11 on a good day and I can easily kind of sprawl out and not feel worried that I'm going to be claustrophobic. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seat. Two cup holders right here. Heated captain's chairs, two USB type C's, 12 volt outlet. And then on the passenger side, you have 120 volt, 400 watt outlet right there. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And again, I'm not a huge fan of the twin pane sunroof, but I have a decent amount of headroom. I'd say maybe a couple inches before my head actually hits the hot top of the headliner. Because of the twin pane sunroof, your LED dome map lights and integrated hanger hook is gonna be pushed to the outermost portion of the headliner. Very comfortable in here. Again, I love the cab size of these trucks. It seems like uh, throughout the years and the evolution of trucks, the cab went from a uh, kind of excuse for for room to pretty much the prime function of the truck with the bed becoming an afterthought but again very comfortable in here most people are buying trucks nowadays uh, they definitely want to be comfortable when they're going on long trips let's take a quick look now at the bed so there's going to be a couple ways to open the tailgate of this vehicle the first way is with the key fob the next way is with the button to the left of the steering wheel and the third way is the more traditional way you're we're going to come up to it push the button and it's going to automatically come down for us, which is nice. Looks like we have four tie down points, one in each of the four corners of the bed with an additional two on each side. If you opt for the Ford cleat system right here, we have LED bed lighting. We have your seven pin connector as well as another trailer pin connector right here, because this guy does have the fifth wheel gooseneck prep package. Really, really nice on the plastic portion of the tailgate. We have your centimeter and inch markings as well as an additional tie down point that doubles as a bottle opener on both driver and passenger side. And then lastly, we have the tailgate step. Even though this is an aluminum component, as you can see, I have two fingers. I can slam it shut and we're good to go. Let's take a quick look at the towing and payload sticker. So here's a towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. Keep in mind, if you see one on your local dealer lot, that could be slightly different. It could be because how it's optioned. General rule of thumb is the more options and packages you have, the less towing and payload you'll get. This being a uh, Lariat uh, Dually diesel, uh, it's gonna not have as much towing in capability as let's say a single cab XL high output diesel with eight foot box. So just keep that in mind. Let's take a quick look now at the Monroney. So here's the Monroney on this guy. Again, it's a 2024 Ford F350 Lariat with a high output 6.7 power stroke and a 10 speed automatic transmission. Standard equipment is gonna be right here for a base price of 67,480. Optional equipment is gonna be in this rectangle right here. Most notably, we have a $12,495 upcharge for the high output 6.7 power stroke. We also have, it looks like the FX4 off-road package of 495, 410 limited slip ratio of 395, Rapid supplemental heater for 250, power moonroof for 1495, fifth wheel prep package for 550, as well as the Lariat Ultimate package for 5,075, bringing the total MSRP of this vehicle to 90,395. Fuel economy rating is right here. Because this is a heavy duty vehicle, it is not applicable to the EPA fuel economy estimates. 
I want to thank Spirit Ford for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle or any of the 2024 Ford lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Let Cheryl know you saw the video and she'll be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. Um, I understand $90,000 is not a, a small amount of money for a vehicle, um, although in 2024, I, I don't see the the market correcting as much as it should. And I honestly, I only see things getting more expensive from here. So depending on what discount, rebate, and incentive you qualify for, if you can get A plan, X plan, or Z plan through Ford, you may be able to knock a decent amount of money off this vehicle. Something like this, I've seen around nine to eleven thousand dollars off so you can almost get the high output 6.7 liter power stroke for free uh bringing the msrp somewhere around the uh the eighty thousand uh price point so if you enjoyed the video please consider giving me a like and share if you want to keep up to date with more vehicle walkthroughs be sure to subscribe to the channel and please also be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below as it does greatly help out the channel like always thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one